Richard Bedford Bennett, uh, usually known as just Richard Bennett, later in life the first Viscount uh, Bennett, was one of the most ambitious men to have become uh, Canada's Prime Minister, and he also was one of the least successful Prime Ministers. He took office uh, when Canada had already plunged into the Great uh, Depression in um, August 1930, and when he left office after a massive electoral defeat to his predecessor and successor, uh, liberal Mackenzie King, uh, in October 1935, the economic conditions had started to improve slightly. He studied law at Dalhousie University, having been born in New Brunswick, Hopewell Hill, New Brunswick, in July 1870. And in, uh, he graduated in 1893, and in 1897 he moved to Calgary, uh, which was then in the Northwest on, uh, Territories, okay, uh, to establish a law firm in partnership with James uh, Lawheed. He served in the Legislative Assembly of the Northwest Territories from 1898 to 1905, and later in the Alberta Legislature from 1909 to 1911. Then in 1911, he was elected to the House of Commons. From 1920 to 1921, he served as Justice Minister under Arthur Meehan. And uh, then in 1926, briefly as a Finance Minister under Arthur Meehan. Um, promising action and elimination of unemployment, he was able to topple Mackenzie King in the 1930 federal elections. He initially tried to fight against the Great Depression with laissez-faire policies, but these were largely ineffective. Then, in his last months of office, he tried to emulate the New Deal, enacted by Franklin Roosevelt, prompting a split within conservative ranks, and was regarded by the general public as evidence of incompetence. He remained leader of the Conservative Party until 1938, then he retired to Britain. He was created Viscount Bennett, the only Canadian Prime Minister to be honoured with elevation to the peerage. Most historians regard his Prime Minister as a failure, although he did leave lasting legacies in the form of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation established in 1932 and the Bank of Canada established in 1934. He died of a heart attack aged uh, 77.